Virgil Abloh, I think. I wasn't a big fan of his. Not that I wasn't, but I just didn't know him off the top. Is it Abloh or Abbo? I think it's Abloh. Come on, pre-search. Shout out pre-search. Let me come a sponsor. Um, He was a 41-year-old fashion designer. I think he was head of something. Uh, the head of something at Louis Vuitton. And that was kind of only recent, though. But uh, people who are into design were probably very into him. And I, I've seen his bits, bits and clips of of uh, his kind of theory on on fashion and stuff. It was very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. He said he he, he was the founder of Off White, right? Apparently, an Italian <laughs> luxury fashion label. Uh, I don't even understand fashion label. I do kind of want to study fashion and art and stuff. See how those markets work. Collaborated with Nike, Levi's, Jimmy Choo, Ikea, and, and Evian. Things is that water? Uh, founded by Virgil Abloh. Mr. Abloh was born in Chicago. Uh, I think he had some a stint with Mr. Mr. Gay, Mr. West. The company was incorporated in Milan in 2012. Um, the company was first founded as Pyrex Vision by Virgil Abloh in the Italian city of Milan in 2012. Abloh then rebranded the company as Off-White, which he describes as the gray area between black and white as the color of Off-White to the fashion world. He was saying that Off-White was marketed towards an affluent demographic. I think it was a high, high dollar brand of fashion, right? Uh, but he said also that he made it so that the competition to compete with this very high priced brand would come from people and people who like saw saw like the vision, whatever that may be of the, of that brand. So to people that would say, oh, this is high priced and overvalued, the competing brands would come from uh, new people in the fashion industry that would, would uh, you know, innovate and make cooler stuff. Uh, and to hear that coming from him was pretty cool. Um, kind of like a inspirational thing slash capitalistic thing. <laughs> uh, but man's died. I don't even know if I said that already, but man's dead. He apparently had a uh, cancer. Um, I'm like on a deep dive of just his talks and stuff. Because a lot of the talks that I saw clips of were very cool. I want to see the intersection of his theory and his action. He was the first African American to be artistic director of a, at a French luxury fashion house. Abloh was named by Time Magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2018. Starting a brand in 2012, I'm sure he kind of wasn't, uh, that wasn't the first thing in 2012 he started, but reached a new level of fame, unusual for a designer, an inspirational figure, said the BBC. He's dead, November 28th. Seemed like a long time ago. December 4th now. Uh, let's see his early life, huh? Born in Illigrin, er, Illinois, to immigrant parents from Ghana. Seamstress mother, father managed a paint company. Learned how to sew from his mother. Abloh was raised in Rockford, went to a Catholic high school. Graduated Wisconsin Madison, bachelor in civil engineering. Is civil engineering literally... Okay, it's like the infrastructure of cities. I thought it might have been like a mental engineering thing. Received a Master of Architecture from Illinois Institute of Technology in 2006. Ablo was attending Illinois Institute of Technology and there was building on campus under construction by the architect, ar, ar, architect Rem Kulhaas. Also worked as a runway collection for Prada, this man, which helped sparked his in, interest for fashion while studying architecture. I've seen I've seen those two worlds collide, architecture and like fashion and art. Um, and I, you know, coming talking about that uh, theory of intersection of like action and theory, 
you do like art to practical practicality architecture is is kind of the place you know you could say it's art architecture huh. while studying architecture he designed t-shirts and wrote on fashion wrote on fashion and designed and designed for a well-known blog the brilliance i'm gonna check that out Ablo first met popular musician Kanye West while working on his designs at Chicago print shop. That's very cool. Um, a year later, West appointed Ablo the creative director of his creative agency, Donda, which is his mom's name. That was 2010, I think. Oh, so he's working for... After graduating from university, Ablo and interned at Fendi in the same class as rapper Kanye West in 2009. That's weird. Kanye West was in an intern class at Fendi in 2009. Ablo caught the eye of the Louis Vuitton CEO after working with Kanye. Later that year, Ablo and West's artistic partner, Don C., launched a retail store called the RSV 